Hi everybody, it's Ray. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's really, really bad in here. Um, I'm in my living room right now and I have my vanity in here. This is not the permanent spot. Um, but my husband just built me this and um, we are re rearranging stuff in the bedroom <clears throat> to make room for it. So I'm in here and sorry about the glare and that's what's messing with me being darker and, and sorry about that. I would open the door, but it's it's really cold, and uh, I tried, and it's just cold outside. So, um, this is my second uh, journey to bariatric surgery video, and um, as of Thursday, January 5th, was day one of my journey to see exactly how long it takes to actually get the surgery and all the obstacles I have to go through. Um, I had an appointment with my doctor um, that day, thir uh, Thursday, January 5th, and we talked about gastric bypass surgery and different surgeries, and she gave me um, a lot of information that is not about, let me see, oh, here it is. That's about what I got diagnosed with. I'll share that in a minute. Um, but here's the gastric bypass surgery and um, how it, uh, um, it works and stuff because that's the surgery I'm leaning towards. They did tell me where I would be having the surgery because of, um, I did find out since I have new insurance, um, just I've only had it for a few months. That's the first time I'm actually using it. And I am learning that I have really, really good insurance, but I'm my network is very limited on who I can see. So basically, in my network of having surgery, I only have one hospital I can go to, and it's a bigger city near me. Um, and I'm fine with that. That's that's fine. They gave me the website. I went and checked it out. I actually did an online seminar um, to kind of know. Uh, about the three surgeries they do. They do the uh, lap band, the gastric bypass, RNY, um, or RUNY, RNY, <laughs> RUNY, I think is, I just know it as the gastric bypass, and um, the gastric sleeve, which that is like, I don't want the gastric sleeve at all. Um, so the gastric bypass, I am still, that's what I do believe I'm going to get. Um, I feel like it's going to be more beneficiary for me than the lap band will be. So, um, we talked about all of that and she said before, and she's very supportive of the uh, gastric bypass surgery. She actually mentioned, um, cause I told her that I was having, she asked about my insulin and, um, how that was going and asked if I was ever put on metformin. And I said, no, that my special, the specialist I seen wanted me to lose weight. And she asked how that was going. And I was like, well, that was over a year ago and it's not going good. So, um, she asked if I, if I had ever been under a um, uh, supervised uh, weight loss program, and I said no. And she said that would be something that she would um, want to try. And then that's when I came in um, and talked about the gastric bypass, and that I was interested. And she said that she was 100% um, supportive. So, uh, my visit was just to get, like, established, and I did have, um, some gastrointestine problems as well. Um, like I said, she was my, a new doctor, and I absolutely loved her, and I thought she was great. And she was very thorough. She stayed in the doctor's room, or the office with me, for about an hour and a half. That's the longest I've ever seen. They actually had to knock on the door and tell her that she needed to wrap it up kind of thing. Um, and I was, we were giggling about that. But um, she diagnosed me with GERD, um, which I had previously been told that that's probably what I had um, because I have really bad um, acid reflux um, issues. And uh, she asked me how I treated that, and I said with Tums, and I've had it for many years. And she was kind of like, I can't believe you've been going this long dealing it with just Tums and stuff like that. So she did um, give me a prescription. Um, it is, I cannot pronounce the word. It's a big word, but um, it is a generic form of Prilosec, but a very stronger, something you cannot get over the counter. So um, I know Prilosec, I think it goes hot. Like, you can get Prilosec over the counter, 
but after a certain level you cannot but this is something you cannot it's a very high dosage and it's like a um a release time release uh pill so it works all day i only take it once a day and i've been doing that this is my um uh third day on it and um that is helping i have not had day one i did have heartburn after that i have not had any heartburn she also told me because i i do have um i mean if this is tmi i'm sorry i have chronic uh um diarrhea problems uh a lot um and she um, wants to get down to all my issues before we start um, the gastric bypass journey uh, as in she recommend me to to where I need to go because you know my recommendation so um, I have a lot of stuff I have to do already um, I let's see what day was that uh, the a few days after Christmas I was going to the hospital all right, I went to the hospital. Now, I already had an appointment um, for to see her for my problems. Um, I thought I had a gallbladder attack. And like I said in my previous video, um, it the doctor told me that it ended up being um, a stomach ulcer. And I told her about that, and she asked where I went. And I said they drew blood and everything. So she wanted to get all the results. So she did that, or she I let her know, and she did that and everything. And I got a call about that the next day, and I'll tell you about that. But the next day I went to um, a lab because um, they don't do uh, blood work there. I know I live in small areas and a lot of their blood work is done by um, like a Quest Diagnostics or uh, some different kind of lab thing. They just give you a paper, you know, like that and say, um, take this there and they do all your stuff. So I went and got, I had a fast for 20 or not 24 hours, but um, overnight, um, which is hard for me because I work the night shift. I go in at midnight and I get off at eight in the morning. Um, so in my, my appointment, I made it for the next day after my appointment or my doctor's appointment. And that was this Friday, the 6th. So after midnight, I couldn't eat and my appointment wasn't until 1230 to get my blood drawn. So that was, um, that was fun, but I went grocery shopping and that was crappy because when you should never go grocery shopping when you're hungry, but I did. But anyway. So I got all my blood work and everything, and once I did that, I got a call from the doctor's office. And she said that she got my blood work from the emergency room, and she said that my levels were um, high on my liver, my liver levels. And I thought that was kind of weird because um, the doctor I seen said that my all my blood work was fine um, on everything. It was weird. But I think um, that... We've, you know, people I know have seen that guy in the emergency room a couple times, and my, 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 I can't talk today, I'm sorry, my stepdad had seen him, and he said that um, he had an infection in his leg, um, he dropped something on it, and he thought it was broken, and he said he had an infection, and then he went to his doctor, and they said, they told him he had a fracture, so I don't know. Anyway, so, um, I have high levels of, you know, in my liver. So I have to go to an ultrasound, which they're mailing a um, form because I have to go to a different, um, I think it's a radiologist or, you know, a, they do, the picture people is what I call them. Um, but that's not it. She also ordered me when I was there a um, colonoscopy. That's fun. And that's for my, uh, you know, diarrhea to male absorption. Male absorption, you know, if I, I'm pronouncing it right, sorry. And then I also have to get a GI scope down my throat, and that's to check the damage of my um, GERD uh, that she diagnosed me with, um, also known as acid reflux disease. So um, that's what I have to do. I have a lot of testing to do. Um, so yeah, I got the coloscopy, or coloscopy, the colonoscopy, the upper GI scope. Um, and that's going to be both done in the same day. And then I also have an ultrasound. And I already did the blood work that I had to do. So that's what I have to do so far. My next appointment is February 1st to go back and see her. Um, she want to make sure all my tests come back and everything. So I'm trying to get everything done as soon as possible. My test for my, my scopes, um, she said that they would contact me within 10 days. So I'm just waiting to hear from them. It's the weekend, so... Hopefully next week I'll hear from them to make an appointment. 
And um, so the first is my next date uh, to hopefully see what all my blood, res all my results come back as. And um, she, she has a hint of thinking that I may be lactose intolerant because um, I do drink and eat a lot of dairy. So I have to have no dairy for this whole month till February 1st or till my appointment's done to see if that's helped. And um, it's helped, like I haven't been to the bathroom as much as I usually am. So <sighs> I'm thinking that might be it. So we'll see. But um, until then, um, thanks for watching and sorry if this was all over the place. Um, and yeah, so, so far it's going to be a month. So one month we'll be down. Um, so anyway, all right, I'll talk to you guys later and see you next time. Bye.